This is the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite disassembly. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a look at the SIM tray. Now heat needs to be applied to the backplate with a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a pry tool can be used to pry the backplate off. Here's a look at the plastic backplate. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. And here's a look at the other side. There are 20 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now a plastic pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and around along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing can now be slightly lifted up, but be careful since the flex cable for the fingerprint scanner is still attached to the main board. The back housing is also made of plastic. There are some antenna lines drawn on the back plastic housing, which are the light gray color lines, as well as an antenna flex cable over here. The NFC antenna is located over here, and next to that is the LED flash. There's also graphite film to help transfer heat. We can see additional antenna flex cables on the other side. The battery cable cannot be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. The coaxial cables on the right side of the board can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the main board. So looking at the main board, there's a 108 megapixel primary camera and a 2 megapixel macro and depth lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone on the top, as well as graphite film over the shield to help transfer heat. There are also rubber gaskets around the connectors. None of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. The SIM and memory card reader is located on the back as well as the proximity sensor located on the top corner. We can also see the 16 megapixel front facing camera. There is thermal paste and graphite film on the back shield to help transfer heat. Once that's been peeled back, we can see thermal pads on top of the chips. Now that the thermal pads have been removed, we can see the processor and RAM. To remove the battery, there is a pull pouch provided to help you pry the battery off. Here's a look at the 5000 mAh battery. Once the adhesive pull pouch has been peeled back, as well as the graphite foam, we can see a copper heat pipe which runs underneath the battery and the motherboard. We also have a better look at the screen flex cable which is routed through an opening in the mid frame, 
as well as this flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard. So if you needed to replace this screen, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws on the back housing and the housing itself, you would disconnect the battery cable, as well as the screen cable, and then you would pry the battery off giving you access to the screen cable, at which point you would heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, you would pry the old screen off, you would apply a new adhesive and reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the midframe, and reassemble the phone. Here's a look at the bottom speaker assembly. Looking at the subboard, we can see a rubber gasket around the connector, as well as the headphone jack and charger port. The primary microphone is located underneath the shield. And here's a look at the other side. The vibrator motor is located here and is held down with some adhesive. In order to replace that, you just have to apply some heat and gently pry it off. The flex cable for the power button and volume keys are also held down with some adhesive. So in order to replace those, you have to just gently peel them off. And the same goes for the earpiece speaker which is located on top. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put it back together. Once everything's back together, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.